So, welcome back, this is Gamer Don, and I'm just going to show you a um, replay of another Ace Tanker in the Scorpion. Scorpion, I've said on many occasions, is my favourite tank uh, at the moment. 27 American Premium TD. Uh, this is a tier 8 game on Ullsborg, <laughs> I can't, Ullenberg. <laughs> oh, put your teeth back in, Don. Um, so, we're going to see what mischief we can cause in this tank. So straight off the bat, um, heading out to the right flank because I think it's a good place to use the gun depression that this vehicle has. Um, carries the 90mm gun, has zero armour, well it's not true, has one millimetre of armour all round so um, you're not going to deal with, you're not going to manage to bounce anything, um, pretty much any shot that hits you does module damage. So. The name of the game is to avoid being spotted. We come up here because we're far enough back that we should be able to spot things before they can see us. Um, and can reverse quite easily off that slope. And what the heck is this comet doing? Try to track him, but he's moving so quickly. You see, that's why I like that position because you can fire, drop back, and Unless Artie are pre in there, they're really not going to hit you. So come up and have another go at the Comet. Just do an auto lock, uh, just to make sure of it. So, you know, that's very nice of that Comet to give me nearly 500 damage straight off the bat. I really don't know why he was playing out. Very odd manoeuvre. So, we'll just keep moving along. Um, not this tree down, hope nobody's watching, but uh, just want to get some more cover. Again, this is a nice spot here because you can fire, and if you're spotted, just drop back down. It's a panther, can I get shot on him? That's a bit of a fortunate clutch shot there. Accuracy, if you can aim, is very good. 122S, and that one wafted into the ground. What a shame. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be just barely showing any of his top of his... Um, his armour there, that SU-122S, so can I see the Tiger? He's in cover. That's not going to work. Panther, what about him? Can we get a shot on him? No, he's, he's only showing me the top of his turret, and unfortunately I don't think I'm going to hit him from here. Bounced off his turret. Panther's got quite a bouncy turret, especially at this range. So that's really not doing anything. I might as well move forward, see if I can get a flanking shot on that Tiger. We've got plenty of tanks on this flank. Um, the other flank's holding up reasonably well. What often happens on this map is that the people from the southern spawn take the right flank, and the ones from the other spawn take the left flank. And it sort of rotates round. But in this game it seems like our fairly limited tanks out there have, have done a pretty good job of holding it up. I still can't get a shot on that tiger, which is really annoying. Really, really annoying. Because he's just asking to be blasted. Oh, but there is a Ferdinand. And a Ferdinand is side on. So we can hit him and track him with the first shot. Reload on this vehicle is pretty good. Had a speculative shot, but obviously nowhere near. And there he is pulling back still. So we can the, the gap there. Can we get a shot through the gap? Yes, nice. One more, maybe. Oh, and of course we bounce. But there's an Emil, so can we track him? Loading up HE for the second shot. He's not going to get away. Bang. Goodbye, Vienna. So, that's 1500 damage and a kill in the space of a few, few minutes. There's a VK still down there, and the SU is still active, so the SU looks like he's going to be kept busy, so I'm going to try to see if I can get on that VK. Um, Tiger has been fun-loved by our MIS-3 and our 101. First shot didn't do so good. Can I track him and hit him? Yes, I can. There we go. Nice hit, that. 236 damage and the kill shot. Nice. 
103, can we finish him off? No, somebody else gets him. Okay, so it's 9-5. The other flank, as I say, has really held on really well. Those guys out there on that flank did a terrific job of holding up. Um, we know that two of, their, two, two of their, their medium and their heavy are out on that flank, and the large fact the Lerb was last seen out on that flank. So I'm pretty sure that everything they have is now out on that flank. So I'm going to go back over there see if I can pick up some some damage. Um, also, if any of them should make a, a dash for the cap, I'm there to try and reset it. Um, I had too many games where the team that's dying and losing manages to re get to the cap and we're just not close enough to reset it in time. So, not having that again. So, it looks like they're still hanging up on that hill. T44 finally dies. Um, so, kudos to him. He, he stuck it out really, really well. I'm going to come to this bit of bush here. Oh, there's the I S. Oh, that was a stupid shot. I should have waited longer for the aim and fired it at the turret because he had it side on to me like I did there. And that was... I don't really know how he spotted me there because the eyes hasn't got a great... Uh, I'll put, turn to a, uh, APCR there. The eyes hasn't got great... Oh, that shot wafted, but then he damaged my... Uh, damage my gun, the IS. So, and what was I saying? The IS um, doesn't have very good visibility, so I'm actually surprised he spotted me there. Um, especially after only one shot. If I'd fired two or three shots, whoops, drunken driver hitting building, not good. Um, you know, if I'd fired like multiple shots, then fair enough. But I only fired one shot, and then he spotted me. Um, and there you go. You see, I, I lost, I lost the gun. The gun was knocked out by the IS with his first shot. Look at the balloon of the aim type, aim circle. It's really not very good. So, um, yeah, it's one of those things with this. So I'm gonna have to repair it. I think um, the bane of having, you know, virtually no armor is the fact that hits tend to module you. So I'm gonna come up here again. See whether we can get some side shots. Let's go for the arty. So he's a high value target in terms of he's a, a premium loaded which is a bit silly but we want to make sure and there he goes so you know he's a higher um, high tier target and therefore I thought that was worthwhile doing never going to penetrate the lowest turret, turret like that should have really saved the shot it was a waste but he's dead so can we get the nerve and look the second shot has hit my um, hit my gun and taken it out and he was angling nicely to stop my shot from hitting him so I probably wouldn't have penned him on the reply but uh, we capped out so that was the end of that game it was a pretty good game if I say so myself so let's take a look at the post game stats um, well it was an ace, master, ace tanker <laughs> medal but then you know that because that's the that's what this video is all about. Um, spotter, and then the others that nobody cares about. Well, I certainly don't. Maybe other people do. Um, where did we finish? We finished top on XP earned. 2,629 damage, which is nice. Um, 26 shots fired, 21 hits, 14 penetrations. bit low on penetrations. But there were some pretty tough tanks out there to fire at. And I was firing at long range with a lot of those. At least half the damage, almost half the damage, came from long range shooting, which is nice. Took two hits, both penetrated, of course. Um, and you saw the module damage that comes from this tank. Um, having you know paper-thin armor means that when you get hit, you tend to lose something, some piece of equipment, which is frustrating. And for a while, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, I used to run with a um, small um, uh, repair kit and a large repair kit because invariably you get the gun knocked out, you repair it, and then the gun gets knocked out, or the engine gets knocked out. And so um, I had both for a while. But what I also found is that you get fires from time to time. So um, I've gone back to having the more traditional... Um, Repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. Um, you take some, you, you know, you decide what you want to do according to how you want to play this vehicle. 
84, nearly 85,000 credits, which is lovely. Filed a fair bit of APCR, so, but I still made 60,000 credit, which is wonderful. For tier 7 TD, remember, so it's, you know, that's pretty good. Um, you'd be doing well to do that in a tier 8 premium. Um, nearly 4,500 experience for a times 2 and for the premium bonus. So that's great. And, um, you know, that's another reason for having a premium like this is the increased credit potential production and the increased experience you get. So there you go. That was a Ace, Ace Tanker Mastery Badge with my lovely M56 Scorpion, which I love to bits. Funny enough, before I did this, um, I did this I can't remember, a couple of days ago now, and um, there was no um, stars or marks of excellence available. They've subsequently bought them in. So I've now got my first star. I'm now going to go for my second and... Hopefully in a couple of days I'll have all three stars of excellence on the barrel of this Scorpion because I like it and I have to say I have some cracking games in it so we'll see what happens though. Anyway this has been Gamer Dom. Thanks for watching and please if you can click like and subscribe and I'll catch up with you again so be careful.